Hello and welcome in this new video. So today we are going to set up Capital Portal. Um, of course, if you are already, you know, uh, with the, some skills and then you know what does um, uh, actually the portal does, it's okay. But if you don't know, um, you can use, for example, for the Wi-Fi, uh, you know, sometimes for sure you saw it, you know, you connect uh, your mobile to some network and pop up the page then ask you for username and password. Usually in the companies, um, when you have the Wi-Fi guest, this is his normal behavior because uh, you go to the reception and say, ah, I want to connect uh, my mobile uh, to Wi-Fi guest. Can you give me the password? And they give you the password. Now, the password can be or static, so that means the password is always the same, can be dynamic, means... Uh, the reception generate the password for you or can be uh, valid for one week for example but like this you can deploy these kind of things uh, to a single office or under the thousand office let's uh, let's see how to set up uh, the the portal with palo alto let's see how to set up capital portal so, in this case, of course, I'm going to use a uh, zone inside and outside, but you can use, for example, if you have uh, a Wi-Fi guest and Wi-Fi internal for staff, for example, or many other SSID, so uh, they require the authentication with, uh, with the portal. So, let's see how to do it. I'm going to do it from uh, my panorama. This is the lab, so the firewall, the computer then we are going to use, Windows, and of course Panorama. So, first of all, click on Device, certifi Certification Management, Certificate Management, Certificates, and uh, this one, Global Protect, is from the previous video, so uh, I'm going to generate a new certificate. Then I'm going to call trust, trusted, CA. Then uh, let me check the keyboard first. Okay. Then uh, I'm going to copy and paste this one. Then uh, I'm going to say certificate authority. If you want, you can specify country, um, state, and organization. So country MT, in my case, Valletta, and Valletta, and organization crazy net. That is not mandatory. Yeah. Then click OK. Sorry, click generate. Then we are going to create the untrust. So click here so on uh, trust, generate, untrust. Untrusted. CA. Copy and paste. Then uh, again, if you want add uh, the country, state, and organization. So undo it again. MT uh, Valletta and uh, organization crazy net. And press generate. Define uh, blah blah. Ah, yeah, okay then. Sign by trusted certificate and generate. So at this point, we have our certificate. Click on Trusted Certificate and select all of them. Same, uh, no, actually for Untrusted, no, because it's important for Untrusted, so okay. At this point, we are going to create the decrypt policy. For do that, go to Policy, Decryption, and is here add and say decrypt 
decryption. Sorts, as I said in the beginning, in my case is inside and destination, it's outside. And uh, service HTTP and HTTPS. Then uh, option, this one is decrypt, so decrypt and decryption profile default and OK. Now we are going to create a, even uh, uh, not decryption, so add no the decryption same inside destination outside service HTTP and HTTPS option not decryption decryption profile default and press OK even I think it's better if you do if you do so so under decryption sorts instead to source users any uh, we say unknown uh, unknown so in, and under decryption sorts no users i think it's better so at this point before gone uh, with other steps click on network zone inside and click uh, here select uh, enable user identification click ok go here um, interface management now this one is only ping and i'm going to add response page as well then uh, resp ping and respond response page are under uh, my internal interface so under this interface in this case it's even one but just for testing in the production you don't put so at this point uh, we have to um, create the users for testing so under device users add users create user one password one two three four five six one two three four five six okay i'm going to create another one but user two one two three four five six one two three four five six all right now authentication profile local and uh, here let, uh, everything else default so local database advanced all this is already selected from the, the previous video now user identification authentication portal settings click the gear here and uh, ah, i forgot i need to create the ssl first ssl uh, decryption uh, sorry ssl tls profile so add name we call uh, ssl ssl profile certificate trust okay now back to the user authentication portal and now i should have this one and uh, here local click redirect and uh, in this case this one is my um, internal interface so it's my gateway and uh, click ok now go under policies authentication profile add I'm going to call uh, cp underscore portal 
source inside destination outside then uh, service as before uh, http and https action default web form and press ok and their policies security uh, sorry panorama anyway policy security and add and we call cp portal you can create even a group uh, for this one uh, cp portal authenticated source inside user no user destination outside uh, i forgot application and http https and click ok then uh, we can uh, uh, create another rules then i say no cp portal no authenticated so add inside user unknown destination outside service http and https say okay this one i need to move on top and even this one on top okay commit and just wait and let's see if it works now okay let's try now if it works after apply the policy uh, let me click here monitor and uh, open again google so uh, google sorry chrome so open this page as a redirect me to palo alto login and user uh, one password one two three four five six there we go now i'm receiving this error here on top you see let me try with google.com okay so it's fine it's fine the certificate so because i'm authenticated now and i can open the website uh, bbc.co.uk for example of course it's a bit slow uh, internet from this machine and the security the certificate is fine and as you can see here is matching my policy so cp portal authenticated and uh, if i'm going uh, here on the left authentication you should see user one authenticated so user one authenticated this is how to set up the portal and of course usually you can apply for the wi-fi now the question is how you can generate the ticket for the wi-fi I mean, for the guest, no? Imagine your uh, customers, uh, consultant, etc., etc. They come to your office, they ask you for a password, then you have to generate a code, or you have one code that generate for a while, for example, one week, then expire the code and you generate another one, or you can uh, generate each time for each different person. How to do that? Well, you will see in the next video. Thank you for watching.